Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Uh, the governor has released its pen his pension proposal and there have been a series of hearings on it since. And with us now is Mimi Walters. Uh, she's a senator and she's on the uh, board. She's been talking with the public about the proposal and uh, is here to talk with us about it. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Are you making any headway? Uh, is there anything that's going to be done this year? Well, currently we just finished our fourth hearing in the conference committee. I sit on the conference committee. And the governor has put forward his 12-point plan, uh, but unfortunately the conference committee wasn't interested in hearing his language and vetting the language on what his plan actually is. And so I'm not really that hopeful that we're going to have any major reform through the legislature. Um, I understand the Republicans have accepted his plan and said, okay, we uh, agree with this plan. We'll give it right back to you. We did. Um, the Republicans put forward the governor's proposal as he wrote it, mm -hmm. and we put it across the desk on February 22nd uh, in the hopes that the legislature will then be forced to take a look at his language and uh, deal with pension reform. Okay, so if uh, everyone agrees on this pension reform as it stands, is this going to solve all of our problems? It's not going to solve all of our problems, but it, it is a step in the right direction. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't deal with retiree health care costs. Mm -hmm. um, we don't deal with the unfunded pension liability. Uh, the proposal really deals with um, employees who are being hired in the future from the state. Mm -hmm. um, the unfunded health care costs uh, an additional uh, expense that people don't even put into the unfunded liabilities with the pension reforms. Uh, you're proposing some changes to address that. Tell us about that. Well, currently, um, according to the State Controller's Office, we have a $62.1 billion unfunded liability when it comes to retirees' health care costs. What I have proposed is to, number one, um, have the employees put 50% uh, towards their retiree costs. And in addition to that, um, we want government agencies to have the flexibility uh, to put money aside to deal with the retiree costs. How bad is it? I, it's a topic that comes up all the time, pension reform, and uh, what kind of burden proportionally is it putting on our state budget? Well, it's putting on a very big burden, but it's one of those situations where people just don't want to deal with it. I mean, who's going to end up dealing with this issue is future generations because the system just cannot sustain itself. So unless we have comprehensive reform, our, our grandchildren and their grandchildren are gonna be the ones that are gonna bear the burden of what the decisions we make today. Well, common sense may dictate that, yet still, what is the likelihood that there is gonna be any real meaningful movement on this issue? Unfortunately, the special interests in Sacramento um, have a, a, a stronghold on the majority party, and they are very reluctant to make meaningful reform because that means taking on the special interests. And that's why I unfortunately don't hold out a lot of hope that there will be any meaningful reform. We did have an initiative that was being circulated to be put on the ballot to deal with pension reform, and unfortunately the proponents could not get, gather enough signatures, and so they had to pull back that initiative. See, that would have put pressure on the legislature to take action if that initiative qualified for the ballot. So if nothing happens, what do you see happening over the next five, ten years? Well, I think um, the tsunami of unfunded pension liability is going to continue, and I think there's going to be pressure put on Sacramento eventually, and I think it's going to start from the ground up. You've got municipalities right now that are having to make tough decisions when it comes to pensions, and I think what we're going to see is we're going to see it starting at the local level and, and raising uh, up to Sacramento. All right. Thanks for all that good news. <laughs> no, nice talking with thank you. Thank you. Thanks. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLM right after this.